<laughs> we have cockroaches living in our coffee machine. So now we're making our coffee with a French press. Sounds fancier than it is. Trust me. Or, or does it? <laughs> hey, it's Damo, and I was gonna do the intro with the makeup already on and be like the beauty guru that I am truly, definitely, 100% am inside. What, what the fuck was I saying? <laughs> I was gonna do the intro with the makeup already on, but I thought, hey, that's gonna ruin the surprise of is this shit actually good? Because I think that I feel, I think that I feel that that's why you came to this channel. It's been a while since I've made YouTube videos, guys. I've forgotten how to communicate ideas. Is it actually good? I mean, I don't see a reason it wouldn't be, other than the fact it all costs me like fucking three dollars a product. And yeah, it's gonna sound really sad when I say I can only afford five products. But there you go. That's where we're at today. So let's just get into it with the fucking five products I bought. So I bought this eyeliner, and this is, um, exquisite eyeliner specifically, so none of that fucking ordinary bullshit. <laughs> smooth head. I love some good smooth heads, so that's fucking perfect. Anyway, I've got this eyeliner. <laughs> Matte loose setting powder. Very nice. Um, there isn't really much to say about this. I just never think, like, honestly think you can never have enough setting powder in your life, and this was cheap. I just farted, I hope you heard it. A beauty blender! Now, I just bought this because I needed it, and to be honest, the main reason I'm making this video today is because my other one is falling apart and I really need to open this, so I need to hurry up and film this fucking video so I can start using it. Also, it's a nice color. Three color eyeshadow. Now, as the name suggests, there are three colors in here. We have a nice white, a nice bronzy, coppery, something, some brown, I don't, you know what? It's eyeshadow. And this is a highlight contour stick. Um, I just want to be fucking shining. I would like to... It says nasal highlighting. <laughs> I'm gonna stick this up my nose and my nostrils are gonna be fucking blinding. So just get ready for that. So just in case you didn't notice, I'm missing a few products. I can't quite do a full face with just these things. But yeah, uh, what I don't have in the Japanese makeup, I'm just gonna substitute with my own day-to-day -day makeup um, that I would put on if I ever left the house, maybe. I'm never gonna fucking find that. <laughs> Let's fucking put some makeup on my face. By the way, I bought all the Japanese cosmetics from Miniso, so thanks, Miniso. I felt very uncomfortable filming in your store. I probably wasn't allowed to. So we got some photo-loving primer from NYX. We just gonna start off with that bitch. Right now, I did not put enough on my fucking fingers. This shit feels smooth. Like rubbing a fucking cat on your face. It like, kinda does feel like if I rub my face on a cat, except wet. Ugh. Right, now that we're fucking primed, we're ready to go, we can drink some coffee. Right, now that we're all primed up, we're gonna get some foundation. Now this isn't actually foundation, I believe this is meant to be a tattoo cover up that I bought in 2015 and have been using as a foundation ever since. Great. This is Derma Blend Professional Quick Fix Body, and I am literally scooping out the last of it with my finger. I'm really poor, guys. I'm re really poor. Now I'm gonna bust open this makeup blender. It just says vitamin E underneath. I don't know what that means. Product name Vitamin E Droplet Makeup Blender. Product features soft and gentle touch. Evenly blends makeup for a smooth enhanced finish for a perfect look. But then it says nothing more about the vitamin E. Wh where the fuck does the vitamin E come into it? Give me this bitch! Oh. That feels good. Nice. Fuck you. Let's blend. Oh! This is really nice. I mean, I have been using the same beauty blender for way too long, so maybe I just forgot what a new beauty blender feels like. But this is gliding on my face, honey. I know I shouldn't be gliding, I should be buffing, but... Mm, full coverage, honey. Now, I definitely put this on my eyelids because I don't care. I don't know if that's okay, though, but, like, do what you want. So I'm done blending, and I look cake face, but bl fucking blended to shit, so... Very approved on this beauty blender. Next, honey, we're gonna bust out some concealer. We got some NYX concealer here. This is the Dark Circle Concealer for the dark circles and above and beyond full coverage concealer for the rest. Let's get out my eBay brushes. I love them. I don't love that one. I love these ones. 
That's hot. Now I'm gonna go in with the other concealer because there is an orange pigment. Pigment? <laughs> There's an orange pigment in the Dark Circle concealer to cancel out like the bluish color of Dark Circle So if you put it everywhere else on your face, it does tend to look a little too orange I like to blend out the edges with a normal concealer Bring that up, put that on that fucking massive fist on the side of my face And just do the same on the other side now since I've got like highlighter and eyeshadows to test out, I'm obviously not doing a day-to-day -day male look. I'm doing like glam male, a jigga jigga, you feel? Okay, cool. Um, so I'm gonna go through with the concealer and do a bit more like of a highlight, just as a base, and then we'll really like have our highlights pop in, okay? Epitome of sex! Now, now we're gonna blend it with our nice Japanese mint colored vitamin E. Bullshit. Mmm, I do definitely look whiter. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this NYX Wonder Stick, just a little bit of the dark cream, just to like... I don't know, get a little extra contour up in this shit. I've got a nose hair that is just piercing me right the fuck off. Alright, let's look glamorous. Where did I go wrong? <laughs> okay, let's blend. Looking straight gorgeous. No more blending. Yeah, okay, now I'm looking straight gorgeous. I don't understand what this is anymore. It's just a highlighter. If I, I don't know if I should be using this before or after setting powder, but we're gonna go in now anyway. We're just gonna highlight the shit out of kind of everything, really. But yeah, this is creamy, so I'm really glad I did this now. Oh, she highlight, though. Girl! <laughs> okay, let's try and blend that. Oh, Brent, blend's really, really, uh, it's gone. Alright, what? That is not blending, that is just weirdly shiny. Is this what we wanted? Bitch, can you see? Yeah, all right, we're gonna move on to setting powder. I'm just, you know, I don't know what you want from me, but I, I don't want you. <laughs> so I didn't really like the highlighter very much so far, unless I've used it wrong. I'll try using it on top of powders, but I think that's gonna be disastrous. But we're gonna go with uh, some setting powder now. Maybe Japan can redeem themselves. It is very pretty, I will give them that. I hate getting my fucking fingers in there and I'm really bad at peeling shit, guys. Fucking irritating. Fuck, broke. Oh, yes. Oh, no, what? That's like a fucking fifth of it. <laughs> fucking yeah. That was really satisfying. Let's put it on my face. So it's, uh, yep. Put it on. <laughs> All right, so that is definitely more pigmented than I thought. <laughs> but we're just gonna commit. We're gonna cover the whole face. Um, oh, it does say it's ivory colored. So, well, that's on me. That is on me for not having ivory colored skin, I guess. I just fucking feel shiny as shit and I'm not, I look like a ghost. <laughs> not really here for the shine today. Um, so I'm hoping that this will fix a bit more of it maybe. Oh, this is taking fucking forever. This does not spread very well. So I will see you on the other side. So right now I'm looking like I'm getting ready to do a really terrible zombie cosplay, but that's fucking fine, I guess. Um, I'll let it bake for- I have no idea where my beauty blender just went, I think it fell into the abyss. I'll let this bake for a bit, I'm gonna do my brows, and then I'm gonna give it a fucking hefty brush off and hope that, <laughs> you know, I look human again. <laughs> my brows, I, um, I use my tried and true benefit browsing. Wait, is that what it's fucking called? Yeah, browsing. <laughs> I actually used to work for benefit, and, um, that's, that's when I fell in love with this, so hey. Oh, hunty. Mm. There we go, I feel pretty. Wow. I still look blotchy as shit. How are we gonna fix that? Oh, that's right. Let's try and brush that crap off my face. Mildly better. I don't know if I hate the highlighter or if I hate the setting powder now. I don't know which it was that I hated, but I didn't love either of them, that's for sure. So now this monstrosity is m monstrous with the. Where's my fucking contour kit? 
Anyway, we got the NYX contour kit. I live for it. I live by it. I live inside it. Let's contour. Hot. Sexy. Fierce. Now we're going to do some highlight powders because I just want to honestly cover up this entire monstrosity at the moment. We're doing good. You know what, I'm feeling a little less blotchy, but only a tiny little bit. So we're just gonna kinda blend it all a bit together, hopefully. Two more things to do, baby. That's the cheeky nose contour. I lied. Three more things to do, baby. That's the cheeky nose contour. Lips and eyes, let's go. And bam, your nose is skinny. Right, we're gonna go for our red lippy because oh, I fucking love this. This is NYX. Liquid suede uh, in Rogue, I Cherry Skies. <laughs> right now, I'm just wishing I did a lip scrub before this because my lips are fucked. I'm feeling my lips, you know. I'm feeling them, but I could be feeling them more, so I'm gonna put a bit of a waddle. <laughs> I could be feeling it more, so I'm gonna put a bit of white in the center, and since we do actually have some white eyeshadow from the Japanese store, let's we'll use that. Perfect. Ooh, this feels nice, actually. This is, like, well made. Right, I'm just gonna go in with my pinky, actually, and just get some of this white. Let's check out the pigment. Damn, actually, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> let's do the other two next to it, and I'll show you a close-up. What? And the darkest one. I'm actually shook. That is pretty damn nice. God damn, that's got a lot of shimmer, a lot of shimmer. But I mean, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that shit. Let's put some on my lips. Didn't do a lot, uh, but I've got a lot of lipstick on my finger. So. <laughs> that's looking a bit better. Sweet, fucking sweet. Eyes. Let's start with the white. We're gonna go in to the corner here and hope that the brush picking it is picking up and putting down. Lovely. I'm kind of liking it. Kind of digging it. I mean, it's literally just some shiny, like pearly white on my eye so far, but I'm not angry about it. Oh yeah! Next we're gonna do our crease with this dark and then do that as a transition going up and then do the corner with the dark and then eyeliner. So I've gone a bit extra <laughs> and I've actually taken uh, this dark color and I've taken it round and blended it into my nose contour a little bit. Have I done it well? No, I've just put lipstick on my nose. I've done everything terribly. But I mean it's an idea so we're gonna try and make it work. I'm gonna go in with the blending color and hope that I can salvage this because to be honest, I don't know what the fuck I've done anymore. <laughs> Fucking great. So I'm just blending the colors hopefully a little bit. I have no idea. These colors are pretty stubborn to be honest. <laughs> a lot of pigment, not a lot of anything else. Not very blendable. That's for sure. Great. Fucking what? So I don't know if you can really see what I've done, but maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> so I've got the darkest color going up and down here, blending into my blending color, blending into my nose contour, and then whatever this mess is, and then some white, and then white all up in here. But honestly, none of it is like solid enough for me to be happy with it, so I think I'm gonna try and fix that somehow, and then we'll move on to eyeliner, and then maybe mascara if I can be fucked. But like, I've been doing this for too long, I'm getting bored. Uh. <laughs> so it turns out the pigment in the white eyeshadow by itself wasn't enough, so I went in with some uh, Miron Clown White. Yep, Google it. Uh, and then I went back over it with the white. It looks a bit better, and then I cleaned up the other two colors, but I still feel like I just look dirty. Will I ever use these again? Probably not, because while I thought they were going to be amazing, in theory, in, uh, in reality, they don't fucking blend for shit. And I hate it. I mean, I'm no makeup expert, but bearing in mind, I can do this. So, if I'm struggling this much, 
it might not just be my lack of expertise, but also maybe the makeup a little bit. Uh, I hate it. Let's move on to eyeliner. I don't know where it is, but once I find it, hopefully this is going to be pretty hard to fuck up. I mean, it's eyeliner. It also says it's exquisite, so it better fucking be exquisite. It looks gorgeous. Like, let's give them that. Pop it off and you've got a very fine point. That's cool. Very excited to draw shit on my face with it. Let's do it. Oh, I love, I love, I love. I just started and I love. Let's keep going. It feels like putting on eyeliner with a felt tip pen, um, like a fine liner, except it doesn't hurt. And it's actually eyeliner, so you probably won't die, hopefully. Pretty damn happy with that, to be honest. I think I'm actually gonna define the outline of the white with black, because why the hell not? I like it a lot, yeah. Damn, I'm actually really happy with this eyeliner. So I actually did some like little stippling pointillism something something. Um, can't remember the right name for it right now. I'm in makeup world, not art world. Just to kind of like give like a blending effect with the eyeliner. And I think it looks a shit ton better than the other eye. So I'm going to do the other eye. And then um, I'm pretty much done. Oh, definitely put that in my eyeball. That's where I wanted it. That's better, motherfucker. I did fuck up the point on this one, it's a bit smudged, but hey, whatever, you know, it's on my face. I feel fucking gorgeous. Let's put on some mascara, take the piss out of myself with a shitty beauty montage and wrap this shit up. Mascara it up. Who needs falsies when... Well, well, actually, no, I definitely still need falsies. I'm not gonna pretend I don't. But I do have very nice eyelashes. I'm pretty happy about it. The very last thing I want to do is actually try that highlighter one more time. I just realized I should give it another shot on top of shit. But I think, honestly, it's just gonna ruin everything. So let's go. This bitch goes on top. Okay, good to know. Um, well, that's... that's that's it. So what did we learn today? What did we fucking learn? Number one, we learned I'm very out of practice at makeup. Uh, number two, we learned that I hate, hate, does not blend, is only good for adding a little bit of sparkle. In fact, I'd probably be more likely to use these as highlighters than eyeshadows. Hate. Goodbye. Don't fucking buy that. We also learned that I... Well, actually, I don't know what I learned about this because I didn't enjoy it at all. It had way more pigment than I thought it was going to, and it did not spread very well, and it would, I think it's what made me blotchy, but that also could have been the fact that I used this highlighter before using this, when this is clearly meant to be used on top. So, confused about this, be confused. I'll give it another go. Maybe I'll let you guys know if you give a shit, let me know. Uh, but at the moment, hate. I'm gonna stick to my NYX setting powder. This one I'm kind of, uh, about, like, it worked when I used it right, but it's not, like, blinding. And honestly, there's a highlighter in my NYX contour kit that can do way better, and I don't have to carry an extra product. So, hate. I guess. But, we also learned that I fucking love this bitch. Where's the lid? It went on so smooth, it had plenty of pigment, dried really quickly, very accurate, very fine tip, very pleasant to put on. And it didn't seem to like ever run out, I just kind of kept using it. I will be stocking the fuck up on these, it was like a few dollars, so love, <coughs> love burp, right there. And also the beauty blender, uh, as I said, I don't know if it's just because I haven't bought a new beauty blender in like a million years, but this one felt so fucking smooth and it just, it was nice. I liked it and it's a cute colour, so I'm gonna have to wash it a lot so I can look at how cute it is. But yeah, that's really... That's, that's really it. Let me let my hair down and look glamorous. That's a bit better, that's a bit better, but honestly I think it's just because it's covering most of my face. So, <laughs> quick beauty montage. Alright, I'm definitely done. Thanks very much for watching this video. I don't really know if it was useful, but I hope it was entertaining. Motherfucker, I've got to clean up my desk now. Awesome. I thought this was honestly going to take me 15 minutes. I've been sitting here for like an hour, and now I've got to clean. Cool. You're so welcome. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this content, maybe consider subscribing for more bullshit like this. And if you didn't, well, hey.
we all have our own shortcomings and I guess that's yours. All right, thank you very much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, fuck off. Also, let me know if you want me to do more of this and like the video if you liked it. Bye.